Hi, let's talk about history. This specific Geoffrey Chaucer, also known as the father of English literature. Sounds promising, right? Well, let's start from the beginning. In 43, the date of birth takes place in London, the Middle Ages, as you can already tell. His father and grandfather were both London minters, which means that they sold and bought wine. Previous generations were merchants in Ipswich. Chaucer's were an average family, more importantly, they knew the right people. In fact, some sources say that his mother was however rich or came from a rich family. She inherited two dozen shops from her uncle. The family name itself is delivered from French, Chaucer meaning shoemaker. In 1357, when Geoffrey was in his early teens, his father got him a job as a page in a household of the Countess of Ulster. Since Geoffrey Chaucer was a public servant, his official life was very well documented with nearly 500 written items testifying to his career. He also worked for the King Richard from 1389 to 1391 as a clerk. He had an astronomy and philosophy degree, and as well as a diplomat, most importantly, he was a writer. The most popular piece of writing written by him was the Canterbury Tales, which consisted of 24 tales told by his spirit characters, which were based on real people he more or less knew. Geoffrey got inspired by the simple lives of people around him. He made up stories relatable to normal citizens. His stories included familiar medieval figures such as a knight, a clerk, a nun, a miller, cook and others. The Canterbury Tales they start with a group of people preparing for a pilgrimage in a tavern. The host of the tavern suggests to tell tales on their way to and from Canterbury. The winner of the best story was promised a free dinner in the tavern. Each one told their stories, but the winner was never unknown. Chaucer was inspired by the great Italian writers like Dante, Petra, Boccaccio. They were quite a major source. Also, Chaucer evidently knew Latin writings of Ovid, Cicero, Virgil, and Boethen. Since he learned Latin in school. You might also ask. Why are the Canterbury Tales so important? Well, it's one of the greatest and most loved works of history. One of the reasons is because he made a brave decision to write in English and not in French, which was the spoken language by those in power. Here's a fact. The Middle Age English is quite different from the one we have now, even though some letters are similar. After writing his stories, Chaucer's life is uncertain. But he seems to have traveled to France and Spain, possibly as a messenger or for a pilgrimage. Around 1366, Chaucer married Philippa de Rouet, who was the lady in waiting. It's uncertain how many kids Philippa and Chaucer had, but three or two are the most written. His stories eventually got published after his death in 1400. Bye, kiddies. Here is where the short summary of Geoffrey Chaucer, the father of English literature himself, ends. See you later.